uh, Kevin Foster, our MP, our local MP for Tor Bay, it's absolutely fantastic and wonderful. Uh, and it's such a privilege here at the Beaches Guest House that you're able to come here and uh, be in attendance today for the beginning of National B&B Week. And it's a brilliant honour and we're so happy and privileged for that. Um, what is your vision uh, for the sound small business community uh, and how can we as small businesses help you achieve that? I think here in the Bay we need to offer visitors, in terms of the small businesses and guest houses, B&Bs and even some of the smaller family run hotels, we need to offer our visitors something that's unique, something that's special, something that benefits from our natural environment and that might give them an idea of old fashioned service but does not give them an out of date experience. That means having quality environments, that means having good food, good quality rooms and also making sure that we cater for the needs of today's travellers. So it can be the simple thing like making sure there's some decent Wi-Fi in the premises as well. You know, a lot of places say the first question they get is when's breakfast? The second one is what's the Wi-Fi code? So for me, in terms of how, how do we get there? The first is about supporting uh, businesses through the right sort of tax policies, making sure we promote the area, but then also at the same time having the sort of conversation we need to have where accommodation does need to move on and also working together as a bay realizing that actually having good quality options here helps everyone you know people don't come to Cool Bay because there's one good B&B or one good hotel they come here because there's a selection and it's a resort they want to visit and what is the one thing you think could be improved for small businesses in Tobi? well in terms of the bay, the small businesses in the bay, it's about trying to strengthen our year round economy because we do have a big surge of visitors in the summer, but then we see many businesses struggle through the lean months, you know, the months where very few people are likely to want to come and have a swim in the sea. That though is where we have opportunities around developing our conference trade, particularly if we can develop better, more modern conference facilities, and also about looking at our year round economy. So, for example, expanding South Devon College, potentially even looking at a university in years to come which gives us the trade throughout the rest of the season, sorry, sorry about perhaps even at the university, that would then give trade when the tourism industry is quiet, but of course wouldn't conflict with the tourism industry during its, during its peak season and actually giving more facilities in terms of supporting our visitors with here. Those are the sort of things I'd look at what we could change here in the Bay. And what is the best thing about being an MP in Top here? Well, apart from being, being living here, you know, this is my home, you know, I would say London's the office, you know, the Palace of Westminster is very impressive, but fundamentally it's an office. You know, this is my home, you know, this is the community I'm part of, that, you know, I can remember going around as a teenager delivering leaflets, you know, building a sandcastle with mum and dad on the beach. And, you know, it has to be said, Paynton does have the best sand for a sandcastle, you know, that clay, that clay mix does make it particularly durable. So for me, that's what's great about it, is the people in this area, the natural beauty of this area, and actually being able to be its voice in Parliament and being able to live here as well. Fantastic thing to do. Fantastic, Kevin. And if you could change one thing in the world, what would it be? Well, we could probably be here for a long time, particularly <laughs> uh, with Brexit coming up, about uh, all the things we could um, change in the, in the world. But, oh, you know, let's pick the one, you know. You obviously have to start thinking of conflict zones and that that you'd like to see resolved. But I think... I think for us, it would be, certainly here locally, it would be about regenerating our town centres and moving forward. That's the local one for us. And at a national level, it has to be about how we skill the next generation for the jobs of the future, because people need to see technology coming as helping them deliver their own aspirations and goals, not as things that will stop them doing it. You know, we can't be Luddites and sort of build an imaginary wall around the UK and hope all the changes will go away and globalisation won't affect us. That's probably a big thing we need to look at for our, for our nation and for the world as a whole, moving towards a place where people can freely express their views and their religious beliefs, no matter where they live, would be a huge change for this world and it would change for the better. And if you weren't an MP, Kevin, what job or profession would you like to be in? Well, I'd probably still be back in doing criminal defence work, uh, which is what I did um, before. I'm going full time into politics a few years ago. I 
what would I like to be doing? I can probably think of all sorts of jobs, you know. You always sometimes think, oh, you know, managing the football club or something like that, although to be honest, probably I'd get, that would take them into a whole new world of flack, you know, actually, probably football managers, probably one of the few people who look enviously at politicians at the level of flack they receive compared to what they get each week. And there's other jobs, that, you know, my family in the military might have explored that in, young, in younger years, but certainly, you know, I'm very, very honoured to do the job I do, the role I have. Certainly no one in my family before me ever did anything like this, you know, my two grandfathers, one was a quarryman, one was a stoker in the Royal Navy, as, as a literal stoker, putting coal into the old battleships and, and then a boilerman, and my father was a painter labourer in Devonport Dockyard, so, you know, it's a very different thing to me. And that's a fantastic um, background there, Kevin, and my last question, I've got, I've got to ask you, um, we're at the beaches b, &B. What is your favourite breakfast? Well, it's got to be the classic full English, hasn't it, really? I must say, I do a lot of times end up having like smoked salmon on, and scrambled egg on toast because that's not quite as, you know, shall we say, not going to have quite the same effect down here. But the, you know, but the old full English, you know, is great, isn't it? You know, with a decent, a decent quality sausage as well. You know, with some good quality local butchers that put one, will put one of those out. Nice bit of bacon and has to be a bit black pudding as well. A lot of people pass that, as I'm sure you'll find. But for me, that's a great part with a few mushrooms and then some beans. Spot on. Fantastic, Kevin. And that's Kevin Foster, our local MP for Torbay.